So I really didn't get to do an intro yet, but I will shortly. We are in Atlanta for the next two nights and three days. And tonight we are just having a quick meal at Baja Fresh. And this is what I'm having, taquitos with some rice and guacamole and some beans. We got some chips and Brian's getting some salsa and Brian got that like burrito thing. And right there, that big building right out there is the aquarium. And we are on the corner of Lucky Street and Park Avenue West, downtown Atlanta. And I'll do another little intro here shortly and let you guys know why we are downtown Atlanta. So we are upstairs at the Hilton. And right over there is the new Georgia Dome that they're building. And then the Georgia Dome is like right there, the old one. They're building a new one, but this is the city downtown. And we are staying at the Hilton because Brian has business here this weekend. So we are staying here. And right over there is a the Coca-Cola factory and the aquarium. <clears throat> and this is like the pool area. And we're on top of the building. So it's very, very cool, but this is the city. In the city. Oh, apartments. Look inside. Oh yeah, cool. So yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's eat there tomorrow. Because oh, I'm going to Mary Max for lunch. If I can find it. I don't have to walk too far. Oh, there's a barbecue. Uh-huh. Cool. There. That's where we have pizza left. So, now I get to tell you guys the reason why we are in Atlanta for the weekend. Brian has a show that he has to be at for the next two days. Um, all day tomorrow, which is Friday and then half a day Saturday. So he has to be at the show for his company and I'm just here tagging along because we get to stay in the hotel room and all that good jazz. So that is why I am here. And then tomorrow I'm just gonna be hanging around the city and trying to find some things to do. And then Saturday, same thing. And then Saturday we go home. And then we have a party to go to Saturday night in our hood so that is what we're going to be doing for the next couple of days here in atlanta georgia and i'm going to try to find some things to do I haven't really figured out what yet um because i'm right here in downtown so um we'll find something to do right now we're getting ready to walk across the street um to the aquarium and the coca-cola factory but we're not going in we're just going to walk over there so stick around nice bry I hear music. Do you have parties? Going guys. Going down. She sounds foreign. There's John Pemberton. He invented Coca-Cola. 1886. Pemberton Place is named in his honor. Dr. John S. Pemberton. Well, let's just thank Mr. Pemberton right now for inventing the Coca-Cola. Have a glass of Coca-Cola with him, Brian. <laughs> Aw, we should- Cheers, everybody. Right, cheers. We need to honor him because I'm addicted to Coke. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And that is the Coca-Cola factory right there where you can go in and try all of the Coke throughout the world, different, just like the one in uh, Epcot. Yes, it's, yeah, all of them are kind of gross. And then right there is the aquarium, which I heard that if you go in after four o'clock, you get 30% off of the regular ticket price. So, hmm, kind of interesting. But this little park area is called Pemberton Place and it's named after Mr. Pemberton himself. Now we are walking into Centennial Olympic Park where the 1996 Olympics were at. What is that noise? It's so weird. Oh wow. I remember making that noise. No. So 
that Ferris wheel that you're looking at, that used to be in Pensacola, Florida. And they moved it here because I guess Pensacola wasn't getting enough revenue. So they moved it here to Atlanta. And I don't know like where at stuff was for the Olympics. I have no clue. And I do not know what any of these numbers mean. Nothing at all. Or any of these names on the bricks. I know nothing. There's a lot of names on these bricks though. Huh? Hmm. Yeah. Of course. Mm. Lovely. Lady. That's nice, Bry. Thanks for sharing. Oh, I want to take a picture of this. I don't know how anybody can walk around the city in shoes like that. Hell no. I admire her though, as I couldn't do it. Brian missed the street. <laughs> So he's waiting to cross. Oh, that makes you dizzy. That big. Yeah. Sure. At night it'll look really cool. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh look, they have a VIP one too. Oh wow. Oh, it's got glass bottom. Oh, freaking cool. So Brian and I are obviously walking around Atlanta and everybody's down here at the Georgia Dome for a concert and we just wanted to see who it was and it's G Drake and Future. I do not know who those people are. Ooh, ACDC's coming September 1st. Sweet. Yeah, I heard that on the radio. Oh, awesome. But anyway, so I don't know who Drake is. I'm sure if I've heard his music. Yeah, I know. Look at her little fluffy shoes coming. I know, I like them. Love your shoes. You. <laughs> Brian and I are big, huge fans of graffiti, but this isn't like a graffiti. This is more like art. But anyway, it says Atlanta. How perfect for an evening in Atlanta. Very, very cool. <coughs> Our hotel is right there. <laughs> Yeah. We own it. We own it. <laughs> Just like Fiona. Fiona. Oh my, look at a tiger stripe over there. I want Fi yeah. yeah. Okay, we could probably cross no, this one. Oh, you want to cross? Well, I don't hear it no more. God, these lights are forever long. Oh, there, it's green. At Luna in the house. So we have made it back to our room and um, I wanted to kind of go out when it was nighttime but we kind of went out a little earlier than I wanted but anyway it's nighttime now but look at out here at the city you can kind of see like the city from out there the aquarium is right there this building right there is the aquarium and then that's a I don't know what building that is um, I always call it the Christmas tree because it's always lit up like a Christmas tree. It's kind of pretty. But anyway, and then um, this is the room. I'll probably do another tour of it or something tomorrow. But anyway, this is the room that we have, which is a nice room. Very, very nice room. Our beds, of course. And then, of course, the chair. There's a desk here with a mirror. And then the window there. We have TV here, which we're watching Harry Potter. You guys know how much I love me some Potter. And then there's the door, and then over here is like um, a little area. Coffee and refrigerator and stuff down here. Microwave and stuff up there. And yeah, that is it. Which, Brian's already made some coffee. Um, and he's in the shower. But anyway, so we are just chilling out, and um, it's almost like 9 o'clock, so we're just chilling and probably getting ready to like go to bed, turn the lights off, watch TV or whatever. And then tomorrow, I haven't decided like what I want to do yet, so I haven't decided like 
if I want to go to the Coke factory, I haven't decided if I want to do the Civil Rights Museum. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. So I guess I'm gonna leave that to surprise you guys to see where I go tomorrow because it's gonna be a surprise to me too, quite frankly, because I have no clue where I'm gonna go. But anyway, I have all day tomorrow though here in the city and then I am gonna go over to where Brian is at, um, probably around lunchtime, noon, and you know, see his booth and all that good stuff. And then I think I'm gonna go have lunch at Mary Max if I can find it. I don't wanna walk too far from around here because um, I'm really not really too familiar with downtown Atlanta a lot. So I don't wanna get like in a bad area, I guess. So I'll have to find Mary Max if I can walk there, then I will. If not, then I guess I'm just gonna stick around here and find a place to eat around here. Um, and then I think tomorrow night, I know Brian and I have already decided we're gonna go to some like really cool pizza place that's like right around the corner here. Um, but yeah, so stick around for a fun adventure downtown Atlanta tomorrow with me. I mean, we'll figure out something to do. So um, yeah, so stick around. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, friends, and happy Friday morning. Um, Brian is already gone. He has left for the show already. He left about an hour or so ago. I've taken a shower, gotten my face on, and done my hair. I don't know really why, because it's kind of humid here anyway. I'll probably fall and relax anyway. No big deal. I have got to go find a Walgreens because I forgot my phone charger at home. And the only charger I have is in my car and it plugs into my little like outlet thingy so it doesn't plug into an outlet like in the room. So I have to go find a uh, charger for my phone and then I'm gonna venture around and maybe go to the Coke factory. I'm not really sure yet. Haven't really, haven't really made up my mind yet. But anyway, so I have my keys, my car keys, my room key. I wanna show you guys what I'm wearing really quick. I am just wearing a pair of like green shorts like army green shorts with my black sandals and just a black shirt. And then I'm using my coach purse as a crossbody because I don't want to carry my other purse around. So I have a crossbody and that's usually what I do when I'm out and about doing things. So, um, and I look like a big whale. So yay, let's go. Let's take this big whale out for a huge walk. Why does it look like it's not focusing? Hmm. All right, let's go. Y'all, this is like the weirdest thing. Okay, so I decided instead of like walking to Walgreens, I decided, hey, let's go find a Target. So a Target was like three miles from the hotel. So I got in my car and I'm driving and I'm now underneath a Target, but this is like the parking garage for Target. What? I've never like parked underneath to go into a Target. So um, I guess they're open. I don't know, it's nine o'clock. Normally Target's open at eight. So I don't know, let's go find out because I'm really curious to see how this Target works because I had to park in a garage underneath the Target. Bizarro. Y'all, you put your cart in this thing and it takes your cart all the way down. How weird is that? And you have to take an escalator up to the Target. Isn't that the weirdest thing? But anyway, I got the things that I needed. And now I'm headed back to the garage. Hopefully I don't have to pay anything to park there. Because I have no clue if I do or not. Look, see that's the escalator to go up to Target. Up. And this is the way out to the parking garage. How weird again that you park in a parking garage underneath the Target. Never in my life. Weird. Must be the city life. So I got my ticket to go into the Coca-Cola factory and it was $17.28 for me to get in. And here's my ticket. And this is what it looks like inside here. Very, very cool. And they've got like different things. They've got an English, which again, I guess Tuck just bought all the stuff. They've got Spanish, Portuguese, German, Italian, French, Korean, Chinese, Hindi, and Japanese. Grab yourself a nice, refreshing Coca-Cola at home. Oh, can you get a Coke here? Hi, fine, how are you? There's a regular Coke. 
Please. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you too. Thank you, way down the ramp, so let me stairs, stairs, steps, stairs, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, way down, close. Come on, hey, come on down, the party is coming. You are now entering into the Coca Cola Law. Once you make your way down, you can stand along this back wall right here. You would like to have a seat on Sign. Let's take a picture of that. You know, I love all the Coca Cola stuff. And then this, this, man, this one's cool too. This man was Robert Woodward. His promise to place Coca Cola within an hour's reach of desire wherever he possibly could. Look at this. President of the Military the city is appointed to host the Olympic relay. They're allowed to design the torch for that for that relay. Mm. So we, in Atlanta, we got to design this torch ourselves. Mm. This is made of recycled materials. So, uh, and, and and this right here is made of pecan tree because that's what Georgia's made, known for. Mm. But one of the other wonderful things is we knew that the guests of honor to like the. the uh, Nothing. Michael were just, I want to say kennel, but I know that's not right. The, uh, the cauldron? The, torch. the cauldron? Thank you. The cauldron. Oh, thank you. I felt like kennel, I know that was That's okay. It came to mind, but the cauldron, the special guest that year was Muhammad Ali. So we made ours balanced. Ah. We just carried from the middle instead of the bottom. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're Hmm. Those are the other torches. So did its connection with sports, music, and a festive gathering. So this is like their bottling place where they bottle all the stuff. Wow. Very, very cool. Nothing's running right now though. 
Oh, they have some over there. Cool. Cool. Look at all this stuff. That's the syrup tank right there. Cool. And it's all up here too. All the way around, like a whole top. And they got spatter right there. Wow. This is bottle inspection. They don't have any bottles going through. This is the bottle inspector area. Very cool. Fizzybot is the packaging robot's name. Cool. This is the bottle rinser area. Cool. Laser coater. This is the blender. This is the filler. And here is our stuff. That's kind of like their. You know. Little tiny Coke bottles. Oh, that's neat. Those change as you walk through. That's cool. This is what the dome in here looks like. It's really, really cool. And we've got like Coke bottles and stuff up there. And more Coke artifacts here. He was saying that this was the couch that was used in American Idol the year that Carrie Underwood won. So she like sat on this couch. Oh, yes. Very, very cool. And of course, Ryan Seacrest himself. Very, very cool. All the Christmas Coca-Cola ones. Very, very neat. So neat, cool. That's cool. I think it's really funny too, they have charging stations for your phone, so you can buy one of those charger things for your phone. How interesting is that? Now, let's go taste some Coke, folks. Look at the um, bottles here, here at the top, going around the room. Look, very, very cool. You know. So this is kind of like uh, a one in Epcot, where you could go taste it which I probably won't I'm not like big on tasting it but they've got all kinds of stuff in here and of course they've got music so I have to be careful with it so anyway cool look at all this and you get to pick a coke hi okay grab one right great thank you here, Atlanta. Okay, you having a good time? Yeah, I am. Thank you. Then, of course, they have the store. All the little things you can possibly think of for Coca-Cola. Right here. They've got plates and cups and cookware. Let's see how much the cups are. This is $12.95. Cute. Yeah, I would probably knock the whole display over. Knowing me. Oh, these are scented teas. What? So they smell like Fanta, they smell like, okay, I've totally got to find one and smell it. Smell me, it says, so I'm going to, so hold on. Let's see. Oh, it does. It smells like vanilla. What? This one smells like grape, watch. Yes, it does, it smells like grape. Wow. Well, that was a fun, like, good hour in the Coca-Cola factory. Um, right over there is the Center for Civil and Human Rights, which I've never been in there and I've kind of wanted to go, but not today. Maybe I'll do it another day. And then right over here is the aquarium again. And of course, then right behind the aquarium is our hotel. But I highly suggest you guys check out the um, Coca-Cola factory if you guys are ever here in Atlanta. Like I said, I told you it was like six, $17 or whatever. And of course they have discounts for military and discounts for senior citizens. So, yes, 
lots of fun. And not only do they give you a free Coke when you walk in, this little Coke right here that they give you when you walk in for free, they also give you a commemorative one, a glass bottle that you can actually take with you as well. So that is so much fun. I actually have like four or five of them already at home because Brian and I have done this a couple of times and then we brought my son here two years ago um, when he and I reconnected two years ago. This is where we came and visited. We did the aquarium and the Coca-Cola factory, but yeah, definitely something that I highly suggest that you guys do. Now, I think I'm gonna walk back to my hotel and see if Brian needs me to meet him. So let's go see Brian. Let's say thank you one time to Mr. Pemberton. Thank you. Cheers, Mr. Pemberton. Thanks so much for inventing Coca-Cola. I think I will go ahead and enjoy my Coke now. It was already half gone. I didn't drink the whole thing right there. But it is about gone. But I am gonna say this because it's a really cool commemorative. Okay, so I made it into the Georgia World Congress Center at the Wood Show. And this is like one of the world's largest wood shows. So not interested at all. But let's try to find the Master Cam booth. I'm trying to find Brian. He said he's like a 40, 200. I don't know. It's probably way down here. I can't find him at all. Looking, 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 looking. Ooh, look at that fancy kitchen. Ooh, fancy stuff. Ooh, fancy closets. I like fancy closets. Um, still looking. 3,700. Oh no, I'm like, where is he at? Okay, building Yoda. <laughs> From Master Cam, CAD Cam Systems. This is what Brian does. We are at the Wood Show in his booth. Let me know, I'll turn it off. Yeah, yeah. I said, like, let me know and I'll turn it off, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Now I must walk over and show you Yoda. <laughs> and this is the finished product of Yoda. That's what they just made. So cool. All right, this is his business. He's a professional man. <laughs>
love the smell of the witches. Air guitar with Ray. <laughs> this is a competitor. Oh, nice. Oh, they were there wheeling and dealing in the master cam booth. Oh man. No, I hope not. Right? Master cam. Very cool. They just keep playing that over and over and over again, don't they? So I'm walking back to my hotel room from the Congress Center. It's really cool just to see what Brian does and everything, but I got a guitar from a competitor of his. It's from Multicam, and he does Master Cam. And now I am gonna go down to Johnny Rockets and get some lunch, and I'm gonna go back to my room for a little while. Um, really not much else I wanna do. It's hot, so just probably gonna get my lunch and take it to my room. I know, we'll see. If it's crowded, I'm gonna take it to my room. If it's not crowded, then I'm gonna stay there. Let's go see.